right, then welcome to um, another Veltas, South Wales. Um, two speakers are going to speak today. Who wants to go first? You or Paul? Me. Yeah. Oh, sad, by the way. Well, that was proper introduction for me. As uh, unaccustomed as I am to public speaking. Yes. Hey. Right. Thank you. Right. I can't disagree with anything Gethin said. Uh, and as I shared on that, um, as I shared on Gallon, he spoke well, he spoke from heart, and uh, everything that he said is true. Uh, the other thing I would say is I still do believe in independence. No one can ever take that dream away from me. And, uh, you know, I never say never, no surrender. Um, my argument with wind farms is not anti-wind farm per se, but they're not for us. Uh, we've got enough uh, in Wales currently, but we don't want any more. And uh, the, day, the day that they tell us that the electric will be for us and free for the people in Wales, I might then change my mind. Until then, no. Um, and we will fight them at every turn. My only disappointment, and I am saddened by this, the one thing that makes me sad is the lack of activists in Wales. And can we, we've still yet to see one of these buggers on their side. And I hope to see you that one day. So, uh, then a couple of skinheads. That's all I've got to say. Paul? Deal, Adam. Uh, well, I'd just like to say this more or less the same thing as Adam said, really. To me, it just doesn't make sense to build all these wind farms when we don't actually need them in actual fact. Uh, as I understand it, in Wales, we already produce more electricity than we can actually use. So why are we, I mean, look at this place around us, it's absolutely beautiful, it's lovely, it's part of our heritage, just the, the natural landscape itself. And then when we uh, put into the equation what Gethin was talking about earlier on, you know, the actual history, the human history in this place as well, we're actually defiling it for no reason, other than to make some people, a very few people, a lot of money. Well, uh, my attitude is, did he come them our worth and harness them our worth and tear them our, our, our worth? Or did he come them our worth? I, I, I don't know, uh, Google really. So, as I said, you know, to me it's such a common sense situation. We put in more wind farms up all over Wales, in South Wales, in North Wales, where I live as well. What for? to make some people some money. We don't get the benefits of, of, of that electricity. I think that there are some really good ideas I've, I've heard today. Why, are we, um, why don't we stop building wind farms? Why don't we stop giving our electricity away? Why don't we keep it for ourselves? In fact, if we did that, we wouldn't need to build any more wind farms. No, no more. We've got enough electricity. Surely in this day and age, we're talking about climate change, the best thing is to do is not to produce more carbon footprint. We've got the opportunity in Wales not to have a carbon footprint. Uh, so I, I heard we, we produce enough electricity through renewables to power the whole of Wales. We could be the, an absolutely carbon-free country. Well, surely that's a, that's a great goal for us to, to aim for. And one other thing I should just add, in my own experience, in my lifetime, what I've seen is, if we put, produce more electricity here, there's not ever going to be an end to it. If we cover this mountain, that mountain, and that mountain in wind farms, they'll want more. Yeah. And it's a never-ending thing. Somewhere along the line, we have to make a decision. Enough is enough. Don't have they gone? Do they come to them aware? Do you have
Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,